Reads and Storytime Online, brought to you by Ethan and Chaco's Book Club at Chalk Children's Hospital. My name is Humana, I am 10 years old, and I live in Preston, California. Today I will be reading to you Zin Zin Zin, A Violin, written by Lloyd Moss and illustrated by Majorie Priceman. With a mournful moan and silken tone, itself alone comes one trombone. Gliding, sliding, high notes go low, one trombone is playing solo. Next a trumpet comes along and sings and stings its swinging song. It joins trombone no more alone, and one, two, they're a duo. Fine French horn, its fowls all oiled, bright and brassy loops all coiled. Golden yellow joins its fellows, two, three, yo, oh, what a trio. Now a mellow friend, the cello, necks, neck extends and bows hello. And pins sit upon the floor, it makes a quartet, that's four. And soaring high and moving in with zin 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 a violin. Stroking strings that come alive. Now quintet, let's count them. Five. With steely keys that softly click, its breezy notes so darkly slick. A sleek black woody clarinet is number seven. Now septet. Gleeful bleeding, sobbing, pleading, through its throbbing, double weeding. Oboe, please don't hesitate, come make it an octet, that's eight. That lazy clown, the big bassoon, he plays low down, we're laughing soon. Here, grumpy, get in your place in line, and give us a no-net, that's nine. The harp descends with angel's wings, a heaven spun through magic strings, and when it joins the others, then behold, a chamber group of ten. The orchestra comes to the hall, there on the stage we see them all, the cello, harp, clarinet, the trumpet, whom we've all seen, all so met. The oboe, flute, and the big bassoon, all eager to get started soon. Trombone, French horn, and violin, all poised, ready, now begin. The strings all soar, the reeds implore, the brasses roar with notes galore. It's music that we all adore, it's what we go to concerts for. The minutes fly, the music ends, and so goodbye to our new friends. But when they've bowed and left the floor, if we clap out loud and shout encore, they may come back and play once more. And that would give us great delight before we say a late good night. Before I say goodbye, I'd like you to I'd like to ask you a question. What do you think will happen next if the story were to go on? Thank you for joining me on Ethan's Story Online. Have a great day and keep reading.